Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Electric field and practice question one. In this video, I would like to practice this question. There are two charge, both negative, has the same charge with negative three microcurrent, and the distance between these two charges are 40 centimeters and the C is the midpoint of Q1 and Q2 which is 40 centimeters and the point A is 10 centimeters from Q1 and looking for the electric field strength at the point A and the point C and also I uh, want to see what is EB, ED, and EC related. Solve these three questions. First of all, let's review the formula. The formula E equal K Q over R square is special for solving electric field strength for point charge. This is for point charge. Just like this question, point charge. This question actually comes from two questions. One is the definition E equals F of Q. This Q is test charge. But why is not appear in this formula? Because you got this formula, one is definition, the other is Coulomb's law, which is F equals K Q and a small q R squared. And this is source charge like this Q or this Q. But small q is a test charge. When you combine these two formula, these two Qs cancel out. So we got this formula. Because Coulomb's law is only for point charge. That's why the derived get this formula is only for point charge. To find the electric field strength in point A. We need to find the electric field strength contributed by Q1 and Q2. So from Q1, we can solve it. So Q1, uh, E1, E1A, that means the electric field strength contributed by Q1. You call K times Q1 R1 to A squared. So we can put the number in 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent and multiply Q1 is negative 3, 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulomb. And the distance is this one is 40. And this is 10, so it's 0 0.1 square. We need to convert centimeter to meter. Okay? And then we got answer is 2.7 times 10 to the negative 5, oh, positive 5 exponent Newton per quarter. Because this, these two. Uh, cancel out each other. 9 and negative 6 get the 3 and this 0 0.01 on the bottom then become this number. The direction of the E 1A is the direction of electric field strength from Q1 at the point A equal to this direction. Because as we defined the Q in definition is positive positive charges. Test charge is pos test charge is positive charge. That's what the direction of force will get the same direction of electric field. So that's why this one at this point A, this is the support it, it put the positive charge, test charge here. This is negative charge, that's the force go this way. That's what this is. You want it go this way. 
okay? And the E2A, which is the electric field stress contributed by Q2 at point A, is K Q2 R 2A squared, which is 9 multiplied 10 to the 9 multiply is still 3, 3 times 10 to the negative 6 colon. The bottom, this is total, is 40 centimeters. This is 10 centimeters. That's why from A to Q2 is 30 centimeters, which is 0 0.3 squared. So as a result, this is 3 squared, 9 cancel with this 9. So we have 3 times 10 to the 5 exponent Newton per coulomb. The direction, same thing, but the positive test charge, the force will be attracted by the solid charge negative Q2, which will go this way. So this is uh, E to A. Obviously, the net electric field stress is at point A. It's the summation of these two. Because if you, we said that this is the x direction, so this is positive, this is negative, the one thing we need to be careful when we calculate the electric field strength or coolant law, we never put the, the, the positive charge or negative into the formula. The positive and negative charge just give us the idea to find the direction. Follow this definition. Okay? So that's why this is go to the opposite x direction which is negative. This is a positive x direction which is positive. So finally we got Ea just to put these two. We got the 0 0.3 which is 3 times 10 to the 4 exponent Newton coulomb. The direction go to right. Go to right. So this one is the first one we saw it. The second one, let's solve what about point C. So looking for point C, as we know, the point C is the midpoint. So that's why we know the midpoint, the EA, when EA go this way, the E2A go to the other way. Because at the midpoint, because of Q1 equal Q2, so if we're looking for, we can write the expression is more clear. Actually, you can see uh, this, these two, E1C and E2C are equal magnitude and opposite direction. You can write E1C equal E. 2c, which equals k times q over r c squared, because q will equal q2, both same 3 microcoulomb, and the distance, the equal half, which is 20 centimeters. That's why that equal. And also, this is magnitude, we talk about magnitude, and direction exactly opposite, that's why at the point c, the electric field stress equals zero. They cancel out each other. So that's why, as long as these two charges are same at the midpoint, the both electric field stress is cancel out each other because this is the same charge and it's both negative, right? That's why they both ch cancel out. The third question they're talking about what is the relation with EB and ED and EC? Because you can say, oh, these two same because the D and the B is on the same 
D and B on the D and B and C on the same line, and also this is uh, the midpoint, and the line is perpendicular to Q2 and Q Q1 and Q2, and also say, oh, maybe this is a uh, cancel out each other. No, that's let's be careful because the reason is electric field stress is a vector the direction of for example we when we talking about the let's say point b what is the direction of eb contributed by q1 this one is we need Right? The direction is going this way. The direction is on the on the on the direction of connected Q1 and B. Go this way. And contributed by Q2 is this way. So this one is yeah, I, I can draw Another one make more clear. Okay, let's see. The point C is zero because both same magnitude E one C, E two C at the same line they cancel out each other. But the B is not the direction of Q and this one is Q one is going go this way, right? And this one is going this way. That's why even E one B equal E two B in magnitude, but they have different direction. That's why at the point B the electric field strength is not equal to zero. We need to get the component. Finally, we got the resultant the direction is this way. And the similarity at the point C, uh, at the point D, the direction E1D this way and E two D is this way. So this is E two D E one D the same magnitude but different direction. As a result you need to get component to find the E D so it's not equal to zero we can find it. So because this video I'm not put the solution and uh, if you want to know how to combine how to find the component go to next practice question two. Okay? This is presented by wise guy Thanks.